Hey, this is Surfline Chief Meteorologist Mark Willis with a special update on major hurricane Joaquin. As of the 11 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center, the storm has maximum sustained winds of 110 knots with gusts to 130 knots. It's moving slowly to the west-southwest. And as you can see in this satellite loop here, it's got very organized thunderstorm activity pretty much all around the center. Uh, a nice, very small eye, which happens to be right over Samana Cay. And really, this is all the signs that we have a very healthy tropical system on our hands. Yesterday, we saw a lot of very reputable computer models bringing Joaquin back towards the East Coast. But some of the major global models, including the European model, which has been very consistent, bringing this thing out to sea, and now the GFS and some others are starting to suggest that Joaquin is going to be a little bit further to the east. Overall, the recent shift to the east is good news for the east coast, but we're not completely out of the woods yet. So please stay tuned to the latest forecast for updates. And regardless of the storm's track, there's still a threat for heavy rainfall and coastal flooding in places as well. And right now, it's looking more and more likely that a significant east to southeast swell is going to spread up the east coast as we move into and through the weekend. A lot of locations are going to have to deal with really strong onshore winds and choppy conditions through the peak part of this swell. But at this point, it looks like Florida and maybe some of our south facing beaches up and down the east coast could have decent conditions. So please stay tuned to Surfline's twice daily updated premium forecast. And for more information about the protection of life and property, monitor statements from the National Hurricane Center and your local weather service office.